But we do have more GPU news. And the first one is coming from WCCF Tech. NVIDIA Ampere GA103 GPU makes desktop debut in the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti graphics card. Now, if you guys recall, we, ha we had been talking about this kind of revision of the 3060 and 3060 Ti lineup that was also kind of lined up with their mobile chips. And what these are or what they're doing for the 3060 in particular is moving to the GA103 from the GA104. And what that means essentially for you is potentially lower power consumption uh, on these GPUs. And so these could be, while still light hash rate, better than what's currently on the market from a power consumption standpoint. And that's why these are relevant. So NVIDIA recently introduced Ampere GA103 GPU, has made its desktop debut in the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti graphics card. The NVIDIA Ampere GA103 GPU is power optimized SKU that sits between the GA104 and the GA102 GPU cores. It was officially intended for the mobility segment in the form of the GA30, or GeForce 3080 Ti chip since the GA102 GPU was a bit too power hungry for the laptop platform. The chips that aren't making their way uh, to the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti mobility GPU end up recycled by NVIDIA for their RTX 3060 Ti lineup. So as you can see here, we get some specifications, not too much of a difference in anything here. We have the same stream processors, 4,864, same video memory, the eight gigabytes of GDDR6. You do have a 256 bit bus, and then you get your frequencies here. And ba -dum, ba dum ba dum ba dum all kind of like wrapped up. Zotac has now listed several custom RTX 30Ti graphics cards that feature the GA, uh, GA103 GPU and more specifically the GA103 200 variant. The original design came with the GA104 200 GPU core. And in both cases, the RTX 3060 Ti ends up with a cut down core design. The RTX 3060 Ti rocks 1280 lower cores than the full GA104. Okay, so it does have lower cores. My bad, sorry. And uh, 208, 2,816 lower cores than the full GA103 uh, configuration. With that said, all models based on the GA103 and GA104 GPU SKUs feature similar specs, and besides some internal power and clock management, the high-level specs remain the same. Following are the variants from the Zotac equipped GA103. So here you go, those are the variants. Let's go ahead and make sure I got all this correct then. So here's the 3060 Ti. Did they not list the two? Oh, here we go. You got to scroll over. No. So I'm not actually seeing it listed. That's the GA104. So let's see if we can get this 4,864. 4,864. See, I thought that was the same. Okay. Let's look at the rest of this then. They didn't really put it in the chart. Easy for us to read. The big thing. Um, 448 gigabytes per second on the memory. I don't think there's any memory changes. They didn't specify that though, did they? Um, but we do have the same bus and the same clock. So that should still be the same. And then you add 175 watt TDP. I actually think I was wrong. Uh, they went up from a GA104 to a GA103. So the, the power consumption does look to have gone up by 25 watts. So you'd want to get the older models. Let me reverse what I said earlier. It looks like because they went from the GA102 to the GA103, which is a cut down from the 3080, 3080Ti essentially, you have worse power consumption on the GA103 versions of the 3060Ti than you do on the older GA102 versions of the 3060Ti. So if you are looking specifically for mining and lower power consumption, more than likely the old revisions of the 3060 Ti would be the one that you would want to purchase as it would should be lower power consumption. There we go. 
do a little bit of on the fly correction there as we get more details. As always, that's kind of the way it works, especially when you're live. I hope that I made that clear though, and that we are all on the same page. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.